Hello YouTube, my name is Intervisor, welcome back to Gonarium. In the last episode, we got our shit scared out of us when we met those undead lizard people creatures. Now let's see, how is our crystal doing? Not good, so charge it up! I have this feeling that we are kinda near near the end. So, this might be the last episode, or the next episode might be the last episode. We'll see. Alright, we have hmm, two ways to go. Well, okay. We have one way to go. <laughs> what do we have in here? Well, it seems that we have only one path. Okay. So, game, you are saying that we have to go there. And there is no secrets behind here. And we kind of plant those. Okay. Do they chime? They do. So we can go right there. Or there. Let's. Let's go in here. And suddenly our crystal has lost all the mojo. Okay. What in the actual name of the something? An ordinary material sacrifice, sacrifice or a dagger. Only in that and still amazingly sharp. Even after the, all these years of uh, desolation, the red carvings on the curvious metal surface significantly signifying a reptilian nature. Actually, it's not. A big surprise that something like this might be still be a sh uh, sharp object. Like um, I'd heard that they um, was it in the fifties or sixties they opened up the tomb of an ancient samurai, someone who uh, roamed the earth uh, in one thousand two hundred something, I think, and the sword that uh, the samurai was still carrying was still tragically sharp. Yeah, it's... It's only... The way you actually m manufacture the knife or sharp uh, the knife or uh, sword uh, tells you... I don't know why where I'm going with this. I need some coffee. The way the object is manufactured de depends. No, not depends. That's the wrong word. Uh, the way it's uh, manufactured tells uh, how long it can be sharp, basically. And now I'm totally lost in birds because there is that one word that I tried to remember and I can't. And it sucks. And because I can't remember that one word, um, I'm struggling with the whole sentence. Right. What do we have in here? More of these guys. Great. Oh. Some distortion. 
There seems to be a building in here, which we cannot enter, at least not that way. I believe no more can we harbor ourselves to the safest shores, for there are things that cannot be undone. That was from the beginning of a game, I think. Okay, loading. Oh, I think the word was determines. What? What? Uh, was was that a sheer delusion? Let's see what we can find. Great, do I have to read when I'm <laughs> knowing contents in no I, when I'm not in the condition of reading anything clearly. Entry 1 for 14th of September 1944. Oh! Having heightened my knowledge of the arcane arts, I find myself contemplating the subject of universal. Better definition exists in the nature of things or in, uh, in mere uh, conceptions, illusory or perhaps the sheer product of human language. Our means of receiving impressions are absurdly few, and our notions of surroundings, uh, surrounding objects inf infinitely narrow. We see things only as we are constructed to see them and can gain no idea of the absolute nature. So what lies beyond the woman, woven limits of the flesh we have been trapped in here? And is it really possible to pass beyond it at least once? What do we know of the world and the universe around us? For the last ten years of my rough life, I've lived with uh, undulating echoes of those scorching questions that have rendered me a ghost among the folks. But yesternight I finally got some answers. During the last sessions, Frank and I managed to get the printed printer to work, and even though the results are blurry, we have a, a first empirical proof of what we saw out there. Well, okay then. Train catch us, nice. Oh, great, skulls. We need to be cautious, not to let anyone else see this grand collection. It could be extremely dangerous for both of us. Okay. Sure thing. Extremely dangerous. Deliberately preserved heads from Mesopotamian marshlands. 
Such cultivated minds kept in permanence by getting dried under the scorching sun with methods now lost to us. As well as the sun, they were believed to be symbols of knowledge. Well, okay then. Why does it have nails? And you don't say anything else about it. Great. Hmm. A stuffed subadult Nile crocodile. One of the oldest creatures still living on the face of the earth. Okay. Oh, what that is? A medicine man mask from Northwest Africa. Did they actually get something like this in the Africa? Because, well, in here a you can A sacrifice ritual see. mask from Middle Africa. Oh. With this you can actually see what you are doing. But not with this. No eye holes. Yes, I said eye holes. Not A. This reminds me a little bit of uh, that one Stanley Parable ending. The museum ending. Hmm. Crowbar, maybe? Yeah. A rusty old crowbar. I thought I saw something. All right. Hmm. Looks like a preparation for a long trip. Hmm. Looks like a preparation for a long trip. Na 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 thunder, not going down yet. What? Of course it is. This relic is from Madagascar. I have two versions, but this one is extremely rare. It is called Ur Hanaldi. Nobody knows exactly what it means. But from its symbolic depiction of a dark sphere inside a light one, it is thought that it could mean the underworld. Okay. I had it. Oh, come on. What was that last part? I had it brought by an old captain friend who often visits that island for trading purposes. Is this the number one? Thank you, this. This is exactly the same room I've been in in one of my visions. Oh, yes, it is. anything change hmm maybe not Ooh, bungos according to legend this very djembe belonged to a learned drummer from Senegal who can speak with the dead by rhythmically beating it all right now I learned that I have to wait until her journal has been updated. A native thing drum comes. from the Asmat people of New Guinea. Their creation myth says Fumeripits made the first carvings of men and women. By beating on this drum, Fumeripits caused the figures to dance, bringing them to life. 
Oh, okay. A penguin. A figure of an uh, emperor penguin, a creature native to Antarctica. And yes, a trophy item, of course. Need to open all the doors. Hmm, that's a beautiful painting. Right. Time to read. Old friend, what uh, you've told me about the shared nature of it experience of a Connery provides me uh, think about necromantic means of the data inquiry. I am sure you remember what I told you about why certain corpses never decay, but rest firm and that in their tombs for thousands of years. I believe with some help from a certain acquirance uh, I can provide you with uh, such Speci speci blah, blah, blah. Specimens. This will be beneficial for both of us, I believe. Eagerly waiting your answer. H. Warner. <sighs> Why do they use so many hard words? This might be the room with uh, electric noises earlier. Do I want to touch that? Oh! Security company, primary content. Okay. Oh, great! A long one! As told in some band uh, ancient volumes, as I able to acquire it, it is evident that Gondarium, when appropriately adapted to work with human psyche and psychology, can transmit the mind beyond the limits of time and space into peculiar place we are yet to explore. If not for our own experience corresponding exactly with the uh, debit 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 I never struggled this much with words until today. Seriously. Uh, provided in a Necronomicon and some other books of forgotten lore, I would easily declare myself a madman. Consequently Conclusively, I have solid evidence printed out for me to justify an objectivity of my position. That dimensions seem completely de devoid of light, other than some small glowing and morphing ge geographical shapes appearing and disappearing momentarily around us. It also feels ex ex extremely cold. But I do believe these are just new sensations that our physical body is attaining from what is otherwise impossible to acquire without a conarium. It is not for us to see this fantastic void with pair of cor corporal eyes, and possibly we ha are the first explorers ever to reach this ancient forbidden place. But the question now reading heavy on my mind is whether we could ever fully understanding, understand the experience with the hindrance of our own limited sensations. Fucking shit, I hate these long documents. And they are all full of these damn hard words. Woodland Lizard Spirit Mask. Is that all? A serpentine ritual mask from India. 
which is said to have hypnotic effects on the one who deeply gazes into its eyes. Why do I feel that we have another... Oh, we don't have another documents here. Fuck my life. Oh uh, no, 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 not reading this. You can pause the video and read this if you want. I'm not. Need a phonograph cylinder. Right? So we need to find the cylinders to be. Not seeing anything cylinder like here, and also I'm not using this not just yet. Mask of an all powerful moon goddess, esteemed by an eastern island tribe, now lost in time. It is from the private collection of the late famous hermit Klaus von Herdeth. Don't ask me how I get it. I have my ways. Enough to a throat and just pull. This Elusive is mask cool. from the submerged parts of Kogulin Islands. A cryptic mask with an untraced origin. So probably self made. This is called the Mask of the Beholder. Just have an eye. Oh. Skulls from New Guinea that are believed to be housing protective spirits. Actually, this looks like uh, Papa Emile to something from Ghost. It's so weird that this didn't have uh, any Locked. glass door. Right, so just last check from here that we didn't have any cylinders in here. Looks like we don't have any cylinders in here. So down we go. The reasons why I left the basement for the last is that when I was a little bit younger, I used to play Call of Cthulhu with a couple of my school friends. And usually the everything bad was happening in the basement. Like, nine times or so, out of ten. Yeah. Again, I'm just going to pause this. Oh, sorry, you can just go into pause the video and see. Read the whole thing if you want to. I'm not going to. Like something's missing here. Hmm. Can I use this? Nope. So where do we use that? Was there something upstairs that we can use this on? Hmm. 
not seeing anything, so... There is only one place where we can go. Um... Did anything happen? I need a phonograph cylinder. 